Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. What's up, guys? Hello. We're uh, we're back. It's dark. That's on purpose. Like our souls. Yeah. So, quick recap from last time, uh, just so that you know, we uh, we split the party, and it was honestly a big joke. We were like, "Ah oh, ha ha, we're gonna split the party," but like we actually did it. And uh, now we uh, shit has kind of hit the fan. Um, we learned that outside of the game, we learned meta that um, Justin for Lady Fiona rolled a nat twenty. Uh, to hear Shart when he rolled like a four or something uh, on stealth. Mm -hmm. And uh, she shot straight up. He did not <coughs> succeed in the deception roll. And she tried to then hold person him. It didn't work. So now he's angry. She ran. Her husband is awake, which is super disorienting. Because he was dead. He was, he was dead, probably. Now he's undead. And now he's definitely not dead because he's coming after Shart. Uh, Absidy was pushed aside by a girl. And well, I'm three and a half feet tall. So. <laughs> Very frail old woman. <laughs> she, she's like 60. And, it's called uh, chivalry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Dirt and I are in, uh, in the cellar, and we hear stuff coming. So we are going to uh, kind of take it from here. Where's the, where are the skeleton minis? Do we know? Uh, and are they in the I thing? think they're in the, okay. the drawer. I also those. have a whole bunch. Yeah, but I haven't got to use mine yet. Okay. No, I think we did. But did we? yeah, so that's where we're gonna we're gonna start. DM, where where would you like to <clears throat> acting? Okay, so. Oh, is he the arms? Hmm. <laughs> no. Sorry. Okay. So just uh, cause I like to repeat a few things before uh, we get into the mindset of everything. So, uh, before barreling past you, Shart, uh, Lady Fiona. Looks sadly at you and sadly back at her husband as she whispered something into uh, under her breath as you see the color slowly come back to uh, Mr. Watcher as he slowly starts coming up and he looks dead behind the eyes, but it looks like he's looking at you and where there is this lurching feeling that you've come across with different kind of zombies. This feels a little bit different and Lady Fiona barrels past you as you try to grab her ankles. I need uh, both of you to roll initiative, and as you do that, <clears throat> shit's going down downstairs. Do we, <coughs> sir? What? What do we? Do we stay up? Do we stay up here in the in the corner? Uh, go, go. Okay. We we heard er, the, we heard her call for Ernst, so we're gonna go up and try and. Help. You're gonna go upstairs. Yeah, we're gonna try and go upstairs. Okay. So, uh, what are we? What are we doing with the cellar? Uh. I'm going to push dirt out first, and okay. then I'm going to look and see if there's anything I can barricade the door with to buy us at least a little bit of time. There's nothing really in the way. Um, I will... Shit. Uh, I'll take a javelin, and I'll I'll slide it through. Are they like slats? Yeah. They're I'll take like a slats. javelin, and I'll slide it through the slat. Okay. Just to try and buy us a little bit of time. And as you do, you start hearing more of the click, 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 click. Slam. And you put the thing. Uh, what'd you guys get? Uh, I rolled a 20. Six. Not 20 or just... Uh, I modded 20. Modded 20. And you got a 6? <clears throat> okay. Nice. So... Yeah. <clears throat> this is going to be interesting. So we have... Oh, we're going to double dash up too. I don't want to... Are we? Yeah. Okay. Double dash, double dash, double dash. So probably won't get there for a hot minute. Yeah, I figured. So... Sitting this one out. <laughs> okay. So, Shart, you are up. Okay, um... <sighs> fucking bitch. Um, rage. <laughs> You're gonna rage? Going okay. right to it. Well, let's rage, and uh, I'm gonna move over to uh, Mr. Watcher and roll an attack. Uh, What'd you got? A natural one. Oh. <laughs> okay, and as you go, like, just being this close to him, he, he has this weird gaze as he looks into your soul, and you feel like this tugging weird tugging feeling at your chest. Go ahead oh, and no. uh, you got give me a wisdom too. saving throw. Okay, hold on. That's not a good... No. That's not a good for him. That says run. Dice jail? Dice jail. Oh, oh no. Get? A natural one. Got another natural one. Nice. Okay. So, as you go for your second attack, your body <clears throat> freezes as you cannot stop locking your eyes with this thing. And it just growls at you. 
Okay. As you do this, Absidy, you see behind you Lady Watcher is <coughs> screaming for Ernst and looking down the stairs. And then when she looks back into the bedroom, she goes, Don't! Don't break any of my furniture or anything that were made by John Werther. They're Werther's originals! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> I've been thinking that all week. Uh, okay. So the... Whatever it is, is going to attack you twice. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Does a natural 20 hit? Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, does a... Natural... Does a 21 hit? You answered the first question. Why do you have to ask again? Because I want you to hate me. <coughs> okay, yeah, okay. They, they hit. Cool. At least you raged. Yeah, it's true. You're going to take a shit ton of damage, so... Let's see. So we should we should run now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Like, now I'm stuck here. <laughs> you need to go do something with Lady Fiona. Okay. <clears throat> so, as it lays into you with its fists, uh, you take... You, your prowess is gone, but you take 22 points of bludgeoning damage. So, half to 11? Yes. You take 11 straight. Dang. Everything you should need to be. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> I'm, st I'm still getting used to the fact that we have tablets okay. now. Okay, Absidy, you're up. Um, well, I guess I'm going to attack. There's a, I, yeah, I need to, because you got, you got paralyzed, right? Uh, he said I'm not paralyzed anymore. The minute he got hit, he was yeah, unparalyzed. unparalyzed. Broken. Okay. <clears throat> well, I still feel like I should help. So I'm going to help. going to move. Get in there. Going to move right up there. and I'm going to sneak attack with my rapier. Uh, okay. you, have a, you have advantage too. Oh, and you're because I'm feet. raged and he's engaged with me. Oh, yeah. Uh, do, do, do 22. 22 hits. Or 21. Cool. Rape your attack. Oh. Uh, is that 6, 4, 2, 12? Plus. Plus 4. That's the damage? Plus, yep, plus 4. So 16. So 16. And your second attack? How's you your health? Oh, you don't have a second attack? No, I do. <clears throat> I'm I'm down 11, so I'm at 31. <clears throat> okay, you're fine. Then I'll use my bonus action to attack again with my dagger. Sure. Be 15 or 18. Yeah, 18 hits. 18 hits. Okay. It's so hot. So I think dagger's <clears throat> four? Yeah. You're just uh, lucky if you, you make it to this fight. I'm just following orders. <laughs> I'm just happy to be a part of it. 17. Seven, another, okay. Cool. Very cool. Uh, so you go back and you basically, you slice into him and where you expect <clears throat> blood to come out or at least some kind of like pus or ooze that you've gone with other um, zombies or undead, nothing really comes out. And uh, shark, it goes back to you. All right. That was round one. Uh, 15. 15 hits. Okay. Uh, that's attack number one. Don't you, uh, that was at, uh, advantage? Yeah, I mean, oh, right there. that's right, he's next to me. Plus you're raging. Well, oh, rage no. doesn't give me advantage. Right. Well, unless you do reckless. Uh, I'm 16, so <clears throat> it didn't change yeah, it much. You're good. Uh, that is 7 plus, <clears throat> uh, 7 plus 5 is 12. Mm-hmm. Plus, so 14 plus two points of fire damage, so 16. So 16, yep. okay. And then my second attack is another 15. And then at advantage is a 22. And that is six plus five is 11, plus two is 13, uh, plus uh, one point of fire damage. Okay, so how much? Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, um, six plus five is eleven. Plus two is thirteen. Plus one of fire damage. 14. So fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Um, if we ever get in eyesight within uh, of Lady Fiona, <laughs> I want to try and talk to her. Keep that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's back to its turn. That's not gonna go well. We weren't. I mean, we weren't <laughs> down in the cellar, so. 
do 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 Feeling the dead air with noise as Absidy. That's me. <coughs> I'm Absidy. Welcome to my show. It's all about hookers and blow. <laughs> okay. So, um, as you're looking at it, and it just it gr- this thing just grits its teeth at you, and then you start slowly noticing something that you've seen before, that mm. you saw with your friend Gray, and you see the wounds slowly start to patch themselves up. This isn't good. Shit. Wait, is it gray? It's, it's, it's not gray. It's not our buddy? As you say that, <clears throat> it makes eye contact with you. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, you're not gray. <laughs> uh, do, do, do seven. Okay. As you look at him, paralyzed, and it looks back over at you, and it's going to attack you twice again. Oh, I forgot to roll the crit damage for you. Ha. So it would have been 33 instead of 22. But that's all in the past. I got another nat 20, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, 18 hit? Yeah. So, so nat 20, 18. I'm not going to roll the damage because it does have the auto damage on it, and I feel like this is going pretty quick. So, yeah, we'll do 33 and then just have that to whatever. As it does another... <laughs> but... You are still in your paralysis. You can attempt to make a saving throw, but it will be the end of your turn. Okay. Um, <clears throat> wisdom, right? Wisdom. Eight. You are still stuck in this paralysis. Cool. So as you're going up the stairway, you <clears throat> hear this shrill, shrieking voice of, Ants! Ants! There's intruders! The intruders! And you're you're going up, and Church's like, "What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do?" Uh, uh, Lady Fiona, what's going on? As you call from, uh, as you're going up the staircase, so you're right in front of uh, the secret kind of like passage, and you're calling out to her. She's yeah, more yeah. At, at the top of the yeah, stairs, yeah. and she goes, "Your, you, your friends intruded upon here, including yourself. We want to accept the deal. We want to take the offer. What? We want to take the offer. You think the." You think the offer is still... Why wouldn't it? You have invaded into my home. I have done no such thing. You have... We heard you screaming from outside. What do you... Roll deception. And Dirt's gonna be... Yeah, we heard you. Roll at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This could this could go well. Oh, it didn't go well the yeah. first time. Oh, no! Ten. Ten? <laughs> use, use my lucky. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> She looks at you and she goes, deal's off. Now you have one final chance to get out of my home. Or we won't be friends. <laughs> as you say that, you hear from the bottom of the basement wood cracking and soon splintering as you hear creaking and kind of shrieking of, sounds like metal and bone coming up the stairs. Or you get torn apart limb by limb. I like my chances. Your funeral. And she turns around. Uh, back inside, we are at uh, Shark. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely right. worth a shot. Would have been interesting. I just wish I would have rolled high. Uh, now try to seduce her. <clears throat> I'm still at advantage since he's next to me. Sure. That was a 24. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so we'll go with the 24. <laughs> Lady Fiona. It was the last time you got that paladin <laughs> dick. 10, 12, uh, 13 points of damage. Okay. 13. On the first attack. And the second attack is a 20 and a 19. So that is 10, 15, 17, 18 points of damage. Jeez, do you guys need me here? Can I just, like, leave? Like, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> uh... Go ahead and make a wisdom save as he makes a uh, googly eyes at you. Hey, yo, ma. Am I pretty? God, you're pretty. Uh, Fuck yeah, I'm beautiful. 19. Okay, you feel this paralysis start to come on and you just shake it off as he's going to get and attack you twice again. Getting this like, he's like a, was it an old timey boxer? What do they call him? Pugilist? Uh, Sure. Pugilist. 
You're definitely right. <laughs> That's a word I do not know. You don't know pugilists, too? No. Does a 26 hit? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Gross. Um, <laughs> Does a 22 hit? Yeah. Cool. Oh, my so God. 22 half to 11 again? Um... Eh, we'll see what my chances are. Maybe I'll roll higher. So that is... Because I'd like to roll higher than just 22. I'd like you to not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that's... Okay, that's... Math. Math. Doing math. Stop. <laughs> Uh, first one is a 14. Seven. Two. And the other one is a uh, 14 as well. So, <coughs> okay. so 28 have two, which is 14. 14. Yep. What's your health? One. And then cool. as you're looking at them... <clears throat> Slowly coming back. Cool. Absidy, if you would like to make a wisdom saving throw, because that is the end of your turn. Four. <laughs> Banana. <-na. laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Shark. Wait, wait, wait. I want to make a, a last ditch effort with Lady Fiona. Okay. Let's let's cut back to the stairwell. And <laughs> La Lady Fiona, I swear if please, you scratch that one, this original. Listen, <sighs> you have no reason not to give us this opportunity. What what negative thing could we do to you right now? What's the worst thing that could happen? You, you kill know, me. You know where we let us leave. You know we're at the Blue Water Inn. If you need to find us, if the if there's any chance of us not doing it, you can kill us anyway. You obviously have multiple things there's there's no reason for you not to give us the opportunity to try and at least put you in a seat of power and she looks go ahead roll at advantage again am i rolling deception you're or rolling persuasion persuasion uh it's all on you persuasion's better i think for you persuasion's uh much better for me <coughs> it's a plus six that's uh not a 22 okay and an eight so we're gonna go with the 22 she looks at you and she looks back at the door, and you hear behind it, like, Shark going, like, little buddy, what's going on? And I can't. Uh, yeah. Hold yourself together. Oh, God, there's so much blood. <laughs> uh, and then she looks back at you. You have one shot. And as you hear this loud snap outside, and as this revenant is coming back at you, it stops. And it slowly slinks. And it just falls to the floor. Your paralysis is gone. And that clicking and that scraping you saw, you saw behind you four knighted skeletons followed by about four other skeletons that have just stopped. And she goes, meet me at dawn. We'll discuss the details. Where? You said Blue Water Inn? Yeah. I'll be there at seven. Great. See you then. And door opens. Lady Fiona opens the door. She opens it for you. And she puts her arm out and gestures. Still don't like you that much. Feelings mutual. Cheers. I didn't break any furniture, like you said. So we're even, I guess. <laughs> and she goes, sure. Great. We're friends. Your friend saved your ass. You know that, right? Oh, yes. I'm going to give him a big old hug. <laughs> Don't touch me. He doesn't, Not you. He doesn't want a hug. Okay. So, like kids, like being scolded and like a cranky old neighbor's house, you two kind of like look at each other and you look at the foot of the stairs, Rufio, like... And you all fuck off out of the house. Lady Fiona, thank you. Don't thank me, just get it done. 
Sorry. Um, are we out? No, not anything from you right now. Yeah, you're out. Get, get, no, get, no, get, no, get no, what done? Nothing, nothing from you right now. Get what done? Nothing from you right now. It I, is four o'clock in the fucking morning. Can we go to bed? We're going to have a meeting in three hours. Yeah. Get what done? Don't worry about it. Uh, we're a fucking team. Shark, you just shit the fucking bed. You get no say in what happens right now. Okay, yeah, because Captain fucking Armor can't do anything either. All right, why didn't you try and do it? Why didn't I try and do it? Because I was busy saving your ass. Then what is the plan? I haven't figured it out yet, but I just bought us fucking time. You know, all I'm asking is for fucking communication. All right, Wolfman, calm the fuck down. As you see this, like, Shark is covered in fucking, like, gashes and scars. Like, he's been through some shit. And Absidy looks fine. Here's a potion. I give Shark a potion. Why? We're about to rest. We don't for have, three hours. We don't have time for a long rest. Yeah, but after our meeting, meeting we can after. long rest afterwards. <clears throat> but he looks hurt. Good. Let him be hurt. Here's a potion. It's not taking your potion. Get okay, aggressive. I'll keep the potion. Okay. So our um, we go back to Blue Water. Is Erwin awake still? No. Doors open, but you would assume he would go to bed at this point. So oh. you guys basically are inside of this tavern at the bottom of the tavern. Like you just hear like the crickets outside, and there's still fire going on in the hearth. And <clears throat> usually when you're in here, it's I wouldn't say it's like quiet, but it's. You know, there's people there, and you hear muttering. This is the first time you really heard it, just like dead quiet, <clears throat> and you kind of have the room to yourselves. Dirt, I need you to go upstairs, get Irwin, and make sure the bones are still there. Sh- sure. I, uh, do you think he's in the room, or he's probably in his room? Wake him up nicely if what, you like can. The ceiling one, or the. Uh, what the one that doesn't have children's names on it? Okay. Do you want me to show you? No, I'll f- I point. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, then he, he goes upstairs. So. We need to talk to the Burgermaster, like now. Talk to him? We need to figure out what side of this we're on. Yeah. I mean, our hands are kind of forced right now. She's... I will kill her. This is not up for debate. But we needed time. There was no way we were getting out of that fight... alive. Yeah, that was a revenant. Yeah. That was like gray. And there was like eight other skeletons coming up from behind us. There was no surviving that. No, you, you're right. So, thank you. We would be dead if it wasn't for... I you. get it. I just... All I wanted was you to say what the plan was. Like, I don't I'm, know. I'm piecing this plan together as it goes. We can't just go in cocks out like you did back there. Well... You put everybody in danger, not just yourself. Yeah, well, what the fuck do you expect me to do? When she tries to possess you, you back the fuck down. Yeah, but then you get... When someone disrespects you like that, you go after them. That's the way this fucking works. That's not the way this works. Look well, look where that got you. Look where that could have put him. If was, you want to talk about us being a family, you got to start acting like you're not the only fucking person here. Yeah, that's why I was trying to just end him and end everything. How'd that go? I'm still here. You're welcome. Fuck off. I'm going to bed. This dirt comes down with Erwin. Shark just kind of moves past them, and he goes to his room, and you hear a <laughs> slam. Erwin kind of just looks a little dazed and a little sorry to wake confused. you up. No, this uh, is everything okay. Uh, it's it's not. He looked fucked. Well, he got fucked. <clears throat> we have a problem. Was the problem? We might have just taken a job for Lady Fiona to kill the Burgermaster. Allegedly. I will get the last of the wine. And you hear like a creak as he, he goes behind the bar and he sets out two, three cups. And uh, he kind of just... So tell me exactly 
what 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 is the plan? You are going to kill the Burgermaster. I don't. I'm going to kill Lady Fiona. That's the plan right now. But why? It's convoluted. She's not only a, a Strahd supporter, she is a fanatic. They see. Okay. Shard almost died, and had we had I not convinced her to give us an opportunity, most likely we all would have died. Okay. Can you get the Were Ravens to take these bones to the church? I, I can certainly yes, I can I can do that. We're not we're not certain. They were locked in a box that she had in her possession. We now have them. And we put bones back and the box is back. But we're not sure. I, I have a suspicion that they're the bones of St. Andrew. These are the bones of St. Andrew. I would wager a decent amount of gold on it. That bag of uh, electrum that I gave you, I would wager that, that these are. Then who are the weird I don't know. The bones of that? I don't. I don't know. But it's better to be safe than to be sorry. We have a friend that's there and if Strahd can get to her, we're in she's in a lot of trouble okay um we need to move these tonight fast okay okay um he kind of takes them up and he wraps them back up in the cloak i i will get on it uh i i shall be back do you know anything of the burgermaster do you know good bad be be candid with us right now or when i don't have time for bullshit he uh has no love for strahd Obviously, that's why he puts these festivals on. Um, very, very big ego. If you are on his bad side, you you might have most of Valaki on your bad side. What about Isaac? I've seen him spontaneously combust men with a snap of his fingers. He is he's a very dangerous man. Thank you. Yeah, if you could get those bones, that would of be... Of course, of course. Please, uh, the wine is for you. I I shall be back. And you see him kind of... And he goes out the door. You hear... You hear like a whistle. And you hear these feathery wings start. And then... It just... <clears throat> so you know, while I stormed off, I'm taking a short rest right now. Okay. So Sure. What are you doing for the short rest? Just sitting in. I, I just already. I just just getting some of my hit points back. I just yeah. You just you just got to do something. So you tell me what what is Shart doing right now? That's uh, not just like strenuous or laying down. Just laying down, staring at the ceiling. Yep. Okay. Actually, to try and do. I'll try and reach out to Paul again. Okay. So you just kind of close your eyes and you meditate yeah. for a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll slide a cup over to Absidy and a cup over to Dirt. I start pouring wine for everyone, starting with Rufio. So, we're going to kill this guy? Uh, Dirt, I don't know. I don't know who we're going to kill other than Lady Fiona right now. But we need to at least make it convincing. He doesn't sound like a reasonable guy. So I'm not sure Well, you put those people where in that the, leaves us. Those gallows with the horse masks... That, no, that's why I'm saying he does that's not. A, he's a problem we can resolve later. This is a problem we have now. What if... What if we got... What if we got the Burgermaster on our side? And we run her out of town? I don't... I don't think there is a running her out of town. It's fair. It is... the My thought process in this moment is to get the Burgermaster aware. He needs to be discreet, though. And I don't know if he's capable of that, and that's kind of where my next step is. Can we meet with him? I would assume we we could, but I don't know when. The festival's coming up. I don't know what kind of timetable Fiona's going to give us. All of that's going to come up tomorrow, or later today. Side note real quick. Yeah. Uh, I know I had gone around town mm -hmm. using the thieves' can. Mm -hmm. I got nothing, right? You didn't get anything. Okay. Might not be a big enough city. Okay. 
We're in, we're in trouble. We are, we, but we all need to be on the same page. And I mean, stay alive. That's the page we're on right now. But by doing what? I mean, time. I, by I, buying time. But with Shark gone, I mean, you think he's gonna come back? Or you said he was looking for his. He keeps saying he's looking for his brother. Do you think he's gonna come back down and help us with this, or just say fuck this and go look for his brother? It's not something I can control right now. It's just... You know how valuable he is to this group, and, you know... I just... I know tonight didn't go well, but... He was doing really well up until that point, I think. He was. But... If he's going to be here, he needs to be invested in us, and not... Be preoccupied. But we're all preoccupied. I, I understand that, but... What he did tonight could have gotten all of us killed. And how are we going to find anything that we're looking for if he's if we're dead? Rufio, I think you more than anyone here understands letting your emotions take over. There's a reason that you do not have your claymore right now. Like, I, I get it. He put us in a bad spot. But I think you need to cut him a little bit of slack. Dirt's right. Up until the end, he was as stealthy as I was. And that's that's admirable. It, it's an admirable quality, but... Getting to the finish line and not finishing doesn't win you a race. No, but cutting down your teammate doesn't get you to the end either. This isn't the only race. We have a marathon. I, I get that, but we need to make it to the end of it. And making decisions like he made tonight... When I broke my Claymore, that didn't hurt the team. That hurt me. When he made that decision, it hurt the team. It didn't hurt him. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I just think you need to let him know that that he's a part of the team. Then he needs to be a part of the team. Agree to disagree, I guess. And Dirt, with that, he kind of just finishes the wine and he goes, I'm going to try to nap and... We'll be back in three hours. I'm going to pray. I'm really proud of you tonight. <laughs> Thank you. And he um, kind of see him start taking off his armor as he slowly walks up the stairs and softly closes the door. <clears throat> I know we have our disagreements, Absidy, and I know you did a lot while we were in the house, and I know you did a lot before we went back in the house. But don't put him in danger like you did tonight again. Don't put dirt in danger? Yeah. How did I put him in danger? You going out, you hitting, you forgetting to check for a trap or getting hit by a trap. Isn't that kind of your thing? I mean, at a certain point, there's nothing I can do. I mean, don't put him in danger again. That's Look, it I'll... seems like every time something happens that you don't like... You blame someone else. Well, when it's their fault, they deserve to be blamed. Well, what about when you do something wrong? Well, then I deserve to be blamed. But what have I done wrong? I'm breaking apart this team. It's not much of a team if it can't deal with a little bit of resistance. A team is as strong as its leader. And if you're going to be the leader, you need to be strong. Right now, you're acting weak. I disagree You're pretending with that. to act strong. But by tearing down other people, that's weak. You guys need to be better. That's just the bad that unfortunately is the truth. I need to be better too. I'm not saying that I'm free of blame here, but everybody needs to be better. We're we're you're more focused on stealing and than you are about keeping people safe. I told you that there's a time and a place. I said to make decisions for the betterment of the group and not yourself. And I'm not convinced that you're still doing that. I don't think I can do anything to convince you. I think you have your thoughts and that's what you're going to stick with. Maybe you're right. I'm doing the best I can. Shart's doing the best he can. Dirt is the only one that you're giving any credit to. I'm going to go. I'll see you at seven. I go upstairs. Okay. Um... Doing anything for? I'm um, going for to. Uh, is there? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for Irwin. Is mm -hmm. there a fire in the? 
Yeah, there's a there's the hearth at the at the uh, closer to where the stage is where Rictavio performs. There's this like fireplace. I'll uh, I'll it's sit by the way. fire with my my glass of wine and just sip it real slow and uh, not full out pray, but try and get something to whore or something out there. Okay. Um. <clears throat> really quick before we get there, uh, Shart, I need you to roll a wisdom save for me. Wisdom save? Yep. Eleven. Eleven, okay. As you get into this kind of like following in the shadows of this, the fog as it passes by the moon and the different shapes, you kind of go into this trance kind of state. And um, you don't hear Paul, but you smell... The, uh, the pine from your forest that you grew up in and you feel this kind of like warmth hit your chest like when he used to lay on you mm-hmm. and you know he's there and you interpret that the way you interpret it clutch my necklace okay and then uh, <clears throat> Ruvio if you'd like to do the same thing go ahead and roll a wisdom for me <laughs> modded 21 modded 21 oh god as you stare into the fire and you you grit your teeth you see um, you see a pair of like eyes kind of looking back at you um, and they just they seem like these green soft but cold at the same time kind of eyes and they just slowly drift back out of the fire as you feel that that rage, that horror. Whenever he touched you, you feel that fire start burning in your chest as you hear the door open and uh, Erwin with a few other, looks like Vistani kind of folks with different feather, you know, long hair and feathers braided in, they come in. Oh, looks like you are, uh, you are the only one left up. Yeah, I have uh, that effect on people, I guess. I see. So, um, we woke up the uh, the father and uh, <coughs> we gave him the bones and he put them with the rest of the bones, I guess, with St. Andros, so we won't know until... Did you happen to see if there was a young lady there? Um, It didn't look like anyone was up at the moment. I think everyone must have been sleeping. Um... I did hear some noises, um, voice of a child, uh, young boy, some stirring, but I didn't quite hear anything. I I appreciate it, Erwin. Thank you for of course being um, timely. It's what we do. Really, really torn here. <laughs> well, Lady Fiona will be here in a few hours to meet with us. So, okay. And he just, at this point, he kind of says something in Vistani, and the, the other four men kind of just nod, and they leave, and you hear, and you hear those wings kind of flap around. And uh, Erwin kind of just walks over to you, and there's a, a chair adjacent to the fire. It looks like two big seated chairs, and kind of brushes his legs as he sits down, and he goes, um, what, is, uh, what is troubling you? Are you looking to overthrow the Burgermaster? Potentially, but I'm not looking to put Lady Fiona in power either. That would probably be wise. Yeah, I think. I think they both need to be replaced, but I don't know who... The enemy of my enemy is my friend, but she's definitely not my friend right now. So I'm hoping he might be. It's true. Um, It's very hard to get a hold of the Baron. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if perhaps you can figure out to play both sides, see if Lady Fiona can arrange a meeting. Make that part of your deal. Um, if she's unwilling, you have a very sneaky friend. You can also wait until nightfall before the festival starts and do what he does best, scope. We have not... We have not come past to the Burgermasters. We have been focused solely on making sure this stays safe and away from Strahd. My concern is if we take her down, 
he will come. He may come regardless. You're not wrong. I just can't, I can't seem to win with this group of individuals. I've never really had a clan before, mm. so leading is new to me. A lot of growing pains. It's uh, very hard for me to lead the ravens, but... You seem to be doing quite a fine job. You grow into it. You grow... There will be mistakes made, but you learn to trust each other. That, that trusting is difficult. It's a two-way dance. You have to learn to trust others, and they will trust you back. When is the festival? He kind of looks over, and there's this kind of like makeshift, like rusty c- c- clock. We have um, 24 hours before day of uh, the Blazing Sun Festival. All will be well. I'm sorry to wake you again, Erwin. I appreciate the no, assistance. No, this is this is important. I am I am more than happy to assist. And I'll uh, I'll just kind of stare off into the fire. Okay. And he kind of gets up and he places his hand on your shoulder briefly, squeezes, and he goes up. I'll be back in a few hours to start breakfast. Hello. I think I'll still be here. All right. I'll see you then. And I'll start taking my armor off and stuff too. Okay. Just to get comfortable. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, anything else you guys are doing? Either individually or <clears throat> anything in that regard? Uh, I'm just short resting, just kind of hanging out, twirling. Okay. I'm going to check on dirt. Dirt? Okay. Uh, you go up, and dirt is by the windowsill. And he's just kind of mumbling to himself, praying. And, um,. You see that radiant, kind of like that halo around him again. Bright. I don't have any idea what that could be. You can roll a religion check. You can try. Mm. Oh, God. It's a straight roll. 18. 18. <clears throat> you... You don't know what it is particularly. Like, you don't know if it's a like what God is reaching out to him. Mm-hmm. But you know that the prayer is working and someone is reaching out and watching. You just don't know who. Mm-hmm. Would he have... I'll, I guess this is a roleplay thing. And yeah. I'll, I'll go up to him and I'll put my hand on his shoulder. <clears throat> and as you do, the... Kind of dissipates. Oh, sorry. I, I must have zoned out for a moment. No, it's fine. <sighs> do you... Uh, is, it, is it working? Is it helping? It's comforting. Um, you know, I was I was just thinking of of my mother back home, and uh, you know, when I left, she was she was pregnant with my sister. So, you know, I was just I was just thinking of that. And every every uh, second day, she'd make these um, these kind of like dumplings, but they they'd have berries and, and different kinds of fruit in them. They were like a dessert, and I usually would have to wait until uh, after dinner to eat them, but I'd always sneak one. And I was just, I don't know. I was just thinking of that. Do you hear anything when you when you meditate or when you pray? Hor talks to me sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't really heard anything. I hear... I don't know. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't hear as much as maybe I... I feel... We've been here for like a few weeks, I... I miss the sun, and when I think and I meditate, I feel, it almost feels like the sun. Is that something? Not the right person to ask about that. <laughs> Most qualified person I know at this point. <laughs> well, we can, uh, we can go talk to the father, potentially, one of these days, as long as we survive. Yeah, that's great precedent. <laughs> do you Do you ever think about going home? I do. You, you know if you ever wanted to, you wouldn't have to, to ask. You could just go. I know, but kind of trapped here. Mm, not for long. We're going to go to Lake Zarovich and hopefully find that girl and bring her back to her father. And We then have potions. And if they work, you can go see your mom and your sister. 
but that would leave you guys. You would eat each other alive. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's a good idea. I'm just saying if you wanted to. I'll think about it. You're strong enough to be on your own. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, in the next day or two, I think we should spar. I would like that very much. I'll let you get back to your prayers then. Thank you. Night fear. Good night. And as he does, breathing starts slowing down. Slowly start seeing that return. Okay. Anything else, guys? What time is it? I would say by the time their exchange is done, it's maybe about five. Oh, okay. My what's up? Uh, I, when it's time to get ready, I want to mm-hmm. wake everybody up. Okay. Well, I mean, you, you would have to be like sitting in front of the clock, but you can start seeing the crest of the dim light. I'm still downstairs too. Okay. I would go back down in okay. front of the fire. Okay, so you're you're kind of staring at the clock, and eventually five o'clock passes, six o'clock passes. You start hearing, excuse me, rustling above where Erwin and his family are, and you see his little sons come down and his wife come down, and kind of gives you a soft smile as she goes in the back and she starts. You start hearing her wash dishes, and you hear the frying of bacon. And uh, I go back and I'll help her wash stuff. Kind of kill some time. Okay. And it's kind of a quiet, you know, moment. And like I said, you staring at the ceiling, you can slowly see the moonshine kind of go and the sun start coming and absolutely you as well twirling. You start seeing the shadows getting longer as the sun starts to crest a little bit. <clears throat> I'd like to uh, go downstairs and talk to Rufio. Okay. So... As you're, okay, as you're uh, finishing up plates, you hear rustling above, and you can assume that everyone else is starting to get up. So you go out, and you're you're sitting at the the bar area, kind of waiting for food as shark comes down. And, yeah. I'm gonna go pee real quick while you guys do this. Yeah, can we talk? Mall ears. I know that I get angry sometimes. That's just part of how I am. That's something that's hardwired. I get that. It's useful. I know. It has its moments. When I was with my pack, it was always important to have a strong leader that took care of everybody. I know that's what you were trying to do, and I respect that. But it's not always the right way to lead, is to just yell at somebody. And I'm someone that understands anger. That's literally, that's that's the only thing that I really understand is anger and just beating people up. You're good at it, by the way. Thank you. But sometimes, if you want to try and be a true leader... You have to understand that sometimes it's just not the right idea to just tear people down. I I get what you're saying. And I respect what you're saying. But there is one difference between you being here and me being here. There's a 12-year-old boy upstairs who if he goes down, you don't have to talk to his mother. I do. The things that we do as a group affect all of us. But if dirt goes down and doesn't get back up, that's not going to weigh as heavy on you as it is on me. You're not in charge. You're not. You weren't put in charge of him. You weren't put with his life in your hands. I was. Okay. I appreciate it. I lost my head last night. But... probably shouldn't have had that discussion at that moment in time. It's fair. <clears throat> All I know is right now that bacon smells fucking incredible. Uh, as you say that, <laughs> uh, Irwin's wife comes out and she 
sees you and she go, puts a plate down for Rufio. Up. I will be right back. Thank you. And soon you you are fixed your own plate of just kind of like this meat. It smells like bacon, but you're you're not quite sure what it is. And you see these giant <laughs> fucking kind of like eggs on this <clears throat> plate, and you just you scarf it. Can I have a second? <laughs> sure. Thank you. And you see her softly smile as she goes back in. Comes back out, puts it back in. I smell the food and okay. come downstairs. I just I grab food. Mm-hmm. And then just sit. Okay. She puts a plate in front of you and she says, smiles. Thank you. Uh, I am also making uh, coffee. We don't really have sugar or cream, but it's it's black. It's good for waking up. <laughs> and she kind of scratches her head as she... Yeah, I'll take a cup. So, Same. Yeah. Okay, and you hear in the back, you hear these kind of clattering and puts these saucers in front. And it's just this black thick kind of strong coffee that when you any kind of exhaustion you might have had it just kind of shakes thank, thank you very much for this it was necessary <laughs> of course um let's see here and she goes I have to uh, finish cleaning for the day Victavio and the guests who will soon be coming in of course of course please don't let us keep you okay and she Kind of goes in the back again. <clears throat> all right, gentlemen. I've uh, I've had all night to kind of think, and uh, I think right now what we need to do is get in front of the burgomaster. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, but what are we gonna do about Fiona? We're gonna use her. She's got connections. We're new here. People don't know us. We're new in town. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, I think we we need to use her connections to get to him, and we need to find out where he stands. And then we need to decide who we're putting in power if they both are unfit. My vote's Erwin. Yeah, um, uh, considering... I, I, I love Erwin. Don't get me wrong. But... He's a barkeep who I'm pretty sure is kind of Astani. I don't think the town is going to overall take kindly to that. He's also the leader of the Were Ravens. I mean, the man knows how to lead a group of people. <clears throat> yeah, but it's politics, and I don't really like how any of that works. Oh, I'm just a fuck up. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit here. Whatever you choose, you've never done anything wrong. I guess I guess I missed something last night after I stormed off, huh? A little bit. I'm really good at pissing people off. <sighs> yeah, well, we had it out this morning. Go for it. Oh, look, Lady Fiona. <laughs> Lady Fiona's not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not seven yet. Absidy. I'm not doing this now. Well, we're gonna talk to Fiona. She's not. You've done this before. Maybe we'll talk later. This isn't the first time you've chewed me out. I'm not gonna chew you out. I'm. I'm not doing this now. We don't really have a choice. You can't act this way when we're getting ready to go into something. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm too hard on you. And I was too hard on Dirt, and I've softened up on him, and I've unfortunately put you and Shart in a bad position before. So, that's my mistake. I don't appreciate what you guys do enough. And, uh, I will make every effort to be a better whatever I am to this group. Good. That's and pretty I, much all I was going to say is being a leader. It's you can't just look out for your own. You got to look out for all. It's all that it is. I know we talked earlier, but it's all we ask. Because if you're not going to be that leader, then maybe we need a different leader. 
if you want a different leader, I'm, <laughs> I'm not fighting for the position, trust me. <clears throat> okay. Um, as the hour passes, um, Dirk doesn't really kind of come out. I guess he's, he might be sleeping at this point. Uh, and Seven slowly comes, and you see more and more <coughs> patrons kind of come in, and they eat their breakfast, and you guys just sit in that uncomfortable silence as door opens and Erwin is holding his parasol over Lady Fiona's head as she goes in and um, doesn't even acknowledge Erwin or his family. <clears throat> as she sits down, eventually she sits down at a table that's uh, closer to where the stage where Rictavio usually plays, but it seems like Rictavio hasn't come out yet. Um, and she just she sits and she waits. Oh, walk over. Sure. Oh. Please, have a seat. I hear the gruel is very good here. It's uh, beet. <laughs> in, in. Oh, is it? Did you find the recipe, or did you steal it? Both. <laughs> I have two recipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I love you in the morning. <laughs> So, that was very interesting. I, I would hope that we would keep things that I do in my bedroom particularly uh, private. Uh, I mean, our lips are sealed. Yeah, I didn't see anything weird about you and your husband. And Erwin's like... So, the Burgermaster. So tell me. What do you plan on doing for him? Do we do we do what we did last night and we raid the Burgermaster's mansion and we behead him? Uh, we need to... I think we need to earn his trust first. Earn his trust? All you have to do is just talk nice about him for 15 minutes and he'll make you honored guests. That's great, but we need a face-to-face -face with him first. We were kind of hoping that you could facilitate that. You're a powerful woman. In charge. You're basically the Burgermaster already. And you kind of see her, and she's wearing this cloak that has this kind of, like, big, like, black onyx kind of, like, brooch on it. Uh, and she kind of just readjusts and crosses her hands. And as she meanders and kind of thinks about it, uh, you hear upstairs Dirk going, Shit! Shit! Slam. do 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 flies down and he just he fucking eats it he eats shit and he actually lands on top of the wa lady fiona and she's like oh get this get this child and he's like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry 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 and he just in a little bit of a tussle she like readjusts everything and uh dirt kind of sits sits next to absidy and just kind of I'm, I'm sorry i overslept i overslept so much for that whole being cool thing I'm a bad boy, and bad boys <laughs> sleep in. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Dirt, do me a favor. Yes. Go back upstairs. <laughs> I, yeah, I just, will, just. I will go back upstairs. Get some rest, kid. Slowly goes back upstairs. Absolutely roll perception for me. Thirteen. Meh plus. <laughs> Looking over at Lady Fiona, she just seems disheveled. And it just seems like she really got in a scuff with him. With? With with dirt. Dirt. That's about it. So she goes, Okay, well, if you give me about an hour or so, maybe I can see if I can arrange something for later today. Oh. E great. Uh, won wonderful. I will send Ernst with my reply in a time and a place. Are you, are you okay? I I know last night wasn't an ideal scenario for any party involved. Do you want beet soup? I'm I'll buy it for you. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. What about a meat breakfast? I'm fine, thank you. Some really good coffee. It's strong. Guys, guys, guys. I'm We're just, what? She entertained with us. We're just yeah, trying to entertain yeah, yeah, here. No, I. And I'm sure she appreciates it. Let's just, um... It was hard to sleep. Yep. Yeah, I only got, like, an hour. 
I didn't go to sleep. Well, we have that in common then, don't we? Master Pain. J Rufio's fine. Master Pain was my father. Mm. <laughs> and you hear, uh... <laughs> you hear the, the chair just kind of... As she gets up and Ernst falls behind her. I'll reply accordingly, gentlemen. Goodbye for now. Talk soon. See Slam. ya. Pause. Yeah. <clears throat> Weren't we supposed to meet up with What's Her Face this morning? Who's What's Her at, Face? At 8 o'clock. At 8. 8, she was supposed to... Be yeah. The, be at the Esmeralda. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Just check it. Got a lot we got a busy do. fucking day. Yeah. Got a busy schedule. <clears throat> so yeah. much for that long rest, huh? <laughs> yeah. Take a nap. Um, anything else you guys want to do as she left? Uh, I'm gonna arm her up. Okay. And then go find Esmeralda. Head out to the carts. Yeah. Head out to the carts. Your claymore's Do done today, right? I think it's tomorrow. But we can check tomorrow. on it. Tomorrow? We can check on it. <clears throat> no, I think it was today, because uh, we went and checked on it yesterday. We said be he day. said three days. It's only been two. Shit. So, Absidy, as you're getting ready, you hear a knock, like a frantic knock at the door. And as you open up and start, he's like, dude, let me in. Um, let me, let me, let me. do the secret handshake. Okay, it's you. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's like, he crouches while he does it. And he's like, okay, so I kind of lied. Um, you are a bad boy. <laughs> I'm such a bad boy. So I didn't oversleep. I was actually up a lot because you guys were fighting and it was just meh. <laughs> but I so, love dirt. such a teenager. <laughs> when I opened up, I saw that I thought this would be hilarious and I feel like only you would appreciate it. And he goes into his pocket and he pulls out the brooch. Yes! Right? Good job. Right? I saw the thing and I just... What is it? It was on a... It's a brooch. It was on her... I took this off of No, it. I know. I'm proud. I just... I wanted to say that, you know, I know that Rufio yells at you a lot and yells at Shard a lot. But we're cool. <laughs> are you saying you and I are cool? Yeah. I know that you you look out for me, and I got you. That's for me. Yeah. That's for you. I just I om I almost got like I just felt up an old lady for you. So. Well, then I have to put it on now. Uh, yes, you have to put it on. <laughs> just don't put it on when she gets there, because then that's gonna be a whole awkward conversation. I'll hide it under one of my many cloaks. <laughs> so I just like you only have one now. I feel like we're down. To they're like, all like bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, you have like one half of one hundred percent. There's two cloaks on the floor of her. Of her yeah, house. there is. Because <laughs> I made a mess. And there's just one really long, stretched out cloak. That's all you have left from when he fell. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's you just got really unconscious. outstretched and <laughs> like torn up. And but he puts it. He puts his brooch, and it's this kind of like black crow. That just has onyx rubies or onyx uh, gemstones in it, and it's about ten gold pieces. It's nothing like super extravagant or crazy, but it's just it's. Can I inspect it for any, like, significance in the world? Um, like if that has anything to do with her <coughs> powers. You can roll a history check for me. Sixteen. Yep. It just it looks more and more like um. It looks kind of like a crow with the it has kind of ruby eyes. Everything you've seen with Strahd, everything has had red eyes. So it just kind of looks like maybe a badge that she likes to wear of Strahd or something that she can wear low key, like out and about, but not say, hey, I like Strahd. Okay. It's a subtle Hail Hydra. Yeah. yeah. And then do me a favor and roll a religion check for me at disadvantage. Eight. Eight. All eights. As you look oh, back wait. up. Oh, it's not a zero. Yeah. All eights. As you look up at dirt, you kind of see this glow around him that he doesn't seem to be, like, noticing. Mm -hmm. And then make a wisdom save throw for me. Thirteen. As you are looking at him and you're like, this is weird. You see very quickly, briefly... <coughs> hand on his shoulder and then as soon as you blink or is gone hands gone uh did you what 
Never mind. Are we Thank doing hand you. things? Yes. Do the hand thing. Thank you. I'm putting this on now. Yes. And I put um, it on where I can hide it if I need to. Awesome. I'm going to finish, like, getting ready because I'm pretty sure, you know, Ruvio is going to get... Where are you, Dirk? <laughs> yeah, but you're a bad boy, so don't get I, too, too clean. I won't. I won't. I'm just, you know... Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, he's just kind of like... <laughs> and he just kind of, like... Eat shit because that he didn't realize the door wasn't all the way closed. He's like, I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. I didn't see it. And thing. he's on his knees and he's just like, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> and it takes you about like 10, 20 minutes to get ready, and everyone just reconvenes at the at the lobby. Uh, yeah, let's go, Esmeralda. Great. Um, so Ed, anything that you guys are talking about or doing as you get to the carts? Uh, we need to sneak her back in, guys. Don't forget, she needs to be invisible. We need to get past the guards pretty quickly. Because if not, they'll be like, hey, who's this girl? And then we'll be like, shit. And then we'll have to kill guards, and that's not good. Yeah. I've had enough fighting for 24 <coughs> yeah, hours. I, mean, as I you, feel like we're already it, signing ourselves up it, to it, kill enough people. So. As you guys are downstairs, everyone make perception checks for me. Perception? Yep. Uh, 21. Okay. Where's my perception? 13. Okay. Ten. You Sharp. don't perceive anything. I'm not good oh, at perception. What is that? <laughs> Bird shit. Um, <laughs> oh, poo. So as you, ew, as you guys are like talking amongst yourselves, Sharp, you're kind of like talking and thinking and you're like, yeah, we're going to go. And you're like, wait a minute. This is the clearest I've ever thought in this fucking bar. And then you're like, wait, why is that? Is it? And there's and you start counting the people you're like that guy's always there that guy doesn't have a life he looks sad <laughs> and then as you slowly turn over to the stage the stage is empty and you go Tavio isn't playing music shit guys yeah where the fuck is Rictavio and you Did guys he... all turn and stage is empty he doesn't I thought he didn't show up till later no, he, he's seven to seven. Hey, Erwin? Uh, yes. what? Have you heard from Octavio? Not particularly, no. He's normally here by now, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's usually... He's here, usually. We gotta get to the cart. Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. Erwin, take it easy. We'll see you later. Okay, goodbye, very best number one customer. I don't what? High five. Thanks for the meat plate. <laughs> you jump. <laughs> Thanks for the meat plate. Give my best to the missus. <laughs> um, her name is uh, Danica, by the way. Charmed. Her own. <laughs> so as you you guys just start booking it, and you're booking it to the yard, and your your hearts are beating in your ears, and you don't really hear anything as you make it to the fucking yard, and you see tire tracks, and you don't see that cart. Anywhere. Shit. False. And Dirt goes, probably shouldn't have told him we found Peggy, huh? Yeah, seems like a bad idea now. Thanks, Dirt. Oh, God, is Peggy here? <laughs> She's invisible. I don't know. I don't know at this point. So what do we do? Fuck if I know. Should we get like? Can can you message her? Can I message? I can I can tr try. Um, what was the name again? Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Peggy. Esmeralda. Dude, come on. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> uh, and you see him, and he kind of looks around, and as you're looking, he finds this thin kind of like coat rack wire, and he straightens it out and picks it off, and he goes, "One moment." <laughs> kind of goes to the side. <clears throat> Everyone, uh, make wisdom saving throws. Oh, boy. 14. Well, God. 8. 13. Okay. You just kind of see... Pop. As soon as, like... This is the first time you're seeing it. You just see this fucking bright... Like, it's almost like the sun. Yeah. And he's just in front of it. And the shining <sighs> light's just blocking. Dirt's just blocking the sun with his body. And as soon as you blink, it's gone. And it's just dirt. Shit. You did did he's like Are you I wait, did we did we all see it? Oh okay. you all see it. Did, did, and this is the first time Shard's seen it. Is Did you That's did, that thing I've so, seen, so many times. Why I, are you I saw it this morning. So many times. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, what? You got all, like, glowy. I thought you knew what that was. Uh, I thought that was a paladin <coughs> thing. I, it, mm. I, I wasn't making fire. I don't... I was doing the... I need to concentrate. Stop. <laughs> he just goes back over and he crouches down and he's like looking behind him. I'm like, you guys are weird. I think, I think he has a god like helping him. I saw a hand on his shoulder this morning for like ha- half a second. Would that do anything for me? No. But it wasn't like creepy. Like It wasn't like a gropey hand? No, it was like a, it, hey, buddy. It was a human hand. hand that you saw. Yeah, it was a human hand. And it was like, it looked like, you know that women's hands are feminine. It looks like it looked like a male hand on his shoulder. Yeah, you know how women's hands are feminine? It looked like a man's hand. Uh, I feel so like, like Harry Knuckles. I feel like I heard this before. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. And you feel this thing in your chest like... Um, <laughs> as you guys have this exchange, Dirk kind of comes back and goes, well... um." She I, mad? She's mad. She's so mad. <laughs> um, I think we should avoid going outside for a little bit, just outside the gates. Or, you know, maybe if we put paint around where we're standing, then we can see when she walks in. Um, you know, all the invisible man. <laughs> um, yeah, she's not happy. She said something about going Watchtower in the south. Yeah, we don't know where that is. Is she Okay. Like, okay, what? Like, she sounded frustrated and angry. Uh, but not dead. M- message her back and tell her I need to see her. I can certainly try. Appreciate it. Okay, just. <clears throat> you guys aren't gonna say anything weird about me, right? Nope. Maybe. Probably. That's fair, I guess. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. He's so handsome. Come on, dude. <laughs> and suave. Dude. And badass. <laughs> and a bad boy. Um, He's basically a MILF. He's the he's a bilf. A bilf. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't say, say it. it. Don't, don't say, say it. it. Just say bilf. Uh, so he crouches back down, and I'm not getting anything. I don't know if I don't know if she's hearing it, but pointing out. All you all you can do is try, buddy. That's all I got at this fucking point. All right, we'll go back to town, I guess. Uh, this is where the cart was. Our armor. Like, my, my studded armor, oh, wasn't yeah, the, the same person mm, as the clothing? Yes. The she, it's in the same stockyard, but it wasn't the same cart. Oh, okay. Can we... Would it be done by now? I don't remember, so yeah, I probably. Th- <laughs> <laughs> I think I think she said it would be done before our dinner, or it would take a day or something like that. Yeah, I feel so like it, it should would, be. Probably be can we just now. stop in and grab that? Sure. You kind of go in, and you start seeing them first coming out. They're putting their stools down, and you see the husband, and he's stitching together something, and the wife's like, oh, you're doing great, honey. Oh, hello. Baby child, how was your dinner? My Did name you? is Absidy, and it was good. <coughs> it was not a baby, baby child. child. It was Look deadly. how sweet he is. Such a good boy. He has mustache for baby child. I'm an adult. Pinch his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Oh, here we go again. Is my armor ready? Oh, I, yes. Uh, if you would like to please follow me to the continental stretch. Oh, I would. And you see like this little makeshift like red kind of like carpet and goes if you would please go into back and try on new baby man armor okay pitter patter pitter patter pitter patter <laughs> he's like go, go. and it takes about it takes about like 10 minutes to put it on like this is the first time you've ever worn like armor armor you've worn like hoods and tapestry and different kind of cloaks but this looks like it's different kinds of hides that have been uh it's almost like alligator it's black is this dark black that it just gets uh, you kind of pull it to the sides and it just kind of closes a little bit and it's it fits perfectly. You have a cod piece, you have shins, you have <coughs> forearm guards, you kind of have the uh, and everything has this kind of raised kind of alligator bump look to it and when you go and you scratch at it it barely makes any kind of dent on it and as you go out, you see Absidy come out and he's in this all kind of like black alligator it's shiny and it looks brand new it looks almost like he's greased up that's how new it looks oh hot <coughs> shit yeah you still look like a kid though but a badass kid yeah. like me yeah <laughs> like dirt yeah whatever helps you kids sleep at night pew, pew, pew. What's, what's that what's, what was that i don't know i just i saw it once <sighs> just a whole bunch of guys came in town and they power bombed someone through a table it was cool um dirt shut up 
you now have spiked armor. So if you want to add that to your inventory, you can go to manage equipment and look for spiked armor. Or spiked leather armor. I'll do it at the next okay. break. Next junction. Yep. Cool. Um, can we look and see, is there any way for us to track the tire tracks to see where you went? You kind of see it goes off to the middle of town. You can assume that he pulled it right through the front gate. Hmm. And they kind of stop, or there's just multiple sets of tracks, so it's difficult to... It's just... Ed, you can roll a nature check for me. See if you can track them. Oh, that's not a strength for Pat. Or Brufio. Both. Uh, 14. Um, you can see, like, where the main indents go, but once it hits the cobblestone, you can see the mud tracks, and then you can see it getting lighter and lighter as it just kind of drifts off. Cool. Shit. All right. Uh, yeah, that that's all. And then as you look around, uh, go ahead, everyone, roll perception for me. See if they're damn it. <clears throat> Modded twenty. Okay. Eleven. Fourteen. While you guys are like, well, fuck, <clears throat> you, something kind of hits your your nose, sharp, and you look down, and you see, uh, shredded, but remotely intact. You see a very tiny, Vistani doll. From the uh, from the cart. Hey, remember these? No. Little little dolls. Not the one of Irina. It's just no. a Vistani doll. Oh. I probably fell out of his cart then, huh? Uh, mate, do you recognize it? Recognize what? The little little doll thingy. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> um. Should we take that? Yeah, so remember that saber-toothed tiger I told you about? Yeah. There were a bunch of little dolls like that next to Bones that he was using, I think, to train it to kill things like that. So Things like a, a small Vistani? Yeah, like a small <gasps> child. Oh, shit. Uh, fuck? I... Fuck? Wasn't that what he was doing? I don't know. I wasn't with you. Oh, I thought you were D... DM for a second. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can't give you guys any hints. Yeah. So. Uh, does that mean we need to go to Lake Zorovich now? Maybe. I'm confused why it's here if he just bailed. Maybe, maybe it fell, fell out. out. Fallen out of the car, yeah. Oh, I thought we were still inside. <coughs> oh. No, you're still, okay. you're still we're at, looking the, at the tracks. Yeah, tracks. I was looking at tracks. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're still at the tracks. You're good. Get new I mean, armor. We... Like you can't even think. <laughs> yeah, well, I have to put it on. <laughs> As you're putting on, you're like, <laughs> it's kind of like Ross when he puts on his leather pants for the first time. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> friends reference. That was for you. So, I don't know. Should we follow? We know these are the right tracks. <clears throat> yeah, but I lo we lose them in the cobblestone. Mm. Is that in the? Do we know general direction if that is by Lake Zorovich? Is that on in that general vicinity? Don't really know. Hey, old people. Yes. Do you know which way Lake Zorovich is? Yeah, Lake Zorovich is... And they kind of point east, and the tracks start... They kind of go north. What's north? Would that be a survival check? The, north would be... Or, I'm sorry, west. They point west, and oh, so Zorovich away, is... I'm sorry, Zorovich is north. The, the front of the gate is uh, west, so they point uh, north. Sorry. Could that be the the lighthouse? <clears throat> Not the lighthouse. The tower. Tower, His yeah. tower. Yeah, but we don't know where it is. We'd have a really hard time finding it um, without Esmeralda, who right. obviously knows you, where it is. While you guys are talking, uh, Dirk kind of looks over and goes over to where the, the doll is, and he kind of puts it in a bag. Smart. Could be something useful, right? Yeah. Yeah, whatever, hopefully. Whatever floats your screw, kid. Hurtful. I guess let's go back into town. But Lake Zorovich is where that girl went missing, right? Yeah. Well, that's the lead we have at this moment. Should we go to the lake? Probably. How Well, DM, how long would it take us to get to the lake, considering we're going to have a meeting with the Burgermeister later today? Well, we need to hear you from Ernst first. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah, how, how long was it supposed to take for her to she said it would take a few hours before she would get a back okay. a hold of you with any kind of correspondence so you have time to kind of bullshit for a plus little bit. ernst could leave a message with erwin and then erwin could tell us when our meeting was if we were getting a meeting that day 
Yeah. Just because she said we were going to get one doesn't mean we're necessarily going yeah, I mean, to. Today, right. Today's the festival, so. No, tomorrow. No, tomorrow is. My bad. Almost. <clears throat> That's right. It was we did. It was already hours. after night, so midnight. So my bad. <clears throat> okay. What are we doing? Uh, how far is the lake from where we are right now? Uh, I would say it's about um. When you get out of town, it's about an hour out, and it's about forty minutes to the gate where you need to leave to go out of town. So we're looking at four hours. Looking about an hour and forty minutes. Well, a four-hour round trip, but. And it's, we also need to. It's also seven. It's a big lake too, right? Probably need to. Yeah. Uh, do you? What do we think? I mean, I'm always down for a swim. So. <laughs> Naked fight part two. <laughs> Naked fight. <laughs> Electric boogaloo. Um, Bear galoo. <laughs> so. Not I. I can only think Peggy. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Yeah. She wanted us to meet her at. The cart. I know, but now when in the message that that dirt sent, what did she say? That yeah, dirt didn't tell us. Oh, she, it he was did. a lot of obscenities, and then I tried reaching out to her again, and then nothing. Oh, okay. She's gonna stonewall us for a little bit. Yeah, look, we can't we can't do anything with her. We're gonna have to go. We might as well go to the lake. To the lake. Yeah, it's uh, definitely too long of a trip for us to go with the other the, the elf guy. So that's gonna take days, I yeah, think. That'll yeah, that'll be a long one. Hold on, I have to look in the map. <coughs> okay, maps. Maps. I'm the map, I'm the map. Oh, look at that, that's pretty. Ba, 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 da. Okay. <coughs> We're gonna go to the lake. To the lake! Alright. To the lake, to the lake. And then the lake, I'll say with that, that's where we're ended as we're going to the lake. That's a good, I think that's a good stopping yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. Do what you gotta do, do your thing. Me! Okay, is. great. The closing uh, thing. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, this was a fun episode. Man, I was expecting much more of a battle, but uh, you, you smarted our, your way out, so it worked out. Um, we'll catch you all next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, top tabling, follow them as well on Twitch. Top yep. tabling. Uh, he has no nice. cup today. No but cup today. It's in my trunk. It's in his trunk. It's in his trunk. <laughs> but we will see you all next time, and thank you for watching. Love Hugs you. and kisses. I love you.